In an ever-changing and unpredictable world, having a solid financial foundation is crucial. Life is full of unexpected events, whether it's a sudden job loss, a medical emergency, or major car repair. These unforeseen circumstances can wreak havoc on your finances if you're not prepared. That's where an emergency fund comes in. An emergency fund serves as a financial safety net, providing you with peace of mind and stability to weather life's unexpected storms. I'm not going to dive in depth into what an emergency fund is and what constitutes an emergency in this video. We've got another video explaining all of that, which I'll link to in the description. I'm Terry, financial coach here at Dow Janes, and in this video, I am going to explain the practical steps that you can take to build an emergency fund that will protect you during times of financial uncertainty. And if you want to boost in your journey to financial wellness, be sure to check out our free masterclass. I'll link to it in the description. an emergency fund. Number one, assess your financial situation. Before you start building an emergency fund, you need to assess your current financial situation. Evaluate your income and expenses to gain a clear understanding of your financial health. Identify potential risks and emergencies that could impact your finances and set realistic financial goals that align with your circumstances. Number two, determine your ideal fund size. Calculate the appropriate fund size that is crucial for effective emergency fund planning. Start by determining your monthly expenses. Consider essential costs like rent, mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, and insurance. Next, evaluate the duration of an emergency. Experts recommend setting aside six months worth of expenses, but this might vary depending on individual circumstances. Consider factors like job stability, dependence, and health when you're setting your fund size. For example, if you're a contract worker and you've got inconsistent income, you may want a larger emergency fund in case you hit a period where business is slow. Now let's talk about strategies for building an emergency fund from scratch fast. Number three, building your emergency fund. Here's a three-step strategy for building an emergency fund from scratch really fast. First, create a budget. To free up funds for an emergency savings, create a detailed budget that tracks your monthly income and expenses. Identify areas where you can reduce expenses without sacrificing your quality of life. Second, reduce expenses. Now, generally speaking, I don't recommend trying to cut out all expenses that you can. After all, one of the important reasons of having money is so that you can afford to do things that make life fun and enjoyable. But if you don't have an emergency fund saved up, you may want to consider seriously cutting back on your discretionary expenses for a short period of time so that you can create financial security. You may even want a bare bones budget. This is when you cut out all spending except for just necessities. Keep in mind, this is a little bit like crash dieting. It's not sustainable or a healthy approach to financial wellness. You should only do a bare bones, uh, bare bones budget for a short period of time if you really need to jumpstart your emergency fund savings. You can also negotiate bills or explore other cost cutting strategies like comparison shopping. Redirect the savings towards your emergency fund. Then third, you'll want to increase your income. To grow your emergency fund even faster, explore different ways that you can increase your income. Consider side hustles, freelance work, or monetize a hobby that you have. Use windfalls like tax refunds or bonuses to make substantial contributions to your emergency fund. Next up, step four, set up the emergency fund. Choose the right type of account for your emergency fund, preferably one that offers easy accessibility and some interest growth. I recommend keeping your emergency fund in an online savings account at a different bank than you have your checking account. This will reduce the temptation for you to dip into that for non-emergency expenses. Plus, while you're building your fund, you can automate contributions by setting up automatic transfers or direct deposits right from your paycheck. Number five, 
protect your emergency fund. Safeguarding your emergency fund is critical to ensure that it remains intact when you need it. Create a safety net by securing insurance coverage for health, home and auto, and other areas of vulnerability. Be diligent about replenishing the fund after you use it for emergencies. Resist the temptation to dip into it for non-emergency purposes. And before I go into the next tip, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's an easy way to support us so that we can continue to provide you with free financial education. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Number six, maintain and reassess your fund. Regularly review and reassess your emergency fund to ensure that it can fulfill your needs. If you experience life changes like a new job, marriage, or the birth of a child, you might need to adjust the fund size. Periodically re-evaluate your expenses and saving strategies to ensure that they are aligned with your evolving financial circumstances. Building up an emergency fund is a vital step towards achieving financial security. It provides a safety net during unexpected events and it allows you to face challenges with confidence and resilience. Start taking immediate action today. After all, planning and preparing today can help you avoid financial crisis in the future. The good news is that once you have an emergency fund, you are ready to start investing for the future. If you are ready to take your financial security to the next level by investing your money, then be sure to check out our free masterclass. In it, we explain how our co-founder, Lorianne, went from $40,000 in debt to making thousands of dollars every single month from her investments. If you wanna learn how to set yourself up for long-term success and financial security, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.